Welcome to section 13 of viruses. This is our overview figure showing all of the viruses that you need to know for step one. In this section, we will be talking about coronavirus and SARS. Our story of coronavirus takes place in front of a warm cabin atop a snowy hill during a gorgeous sunset. This scene has all the elements to make a perfect alcohol commercial, but for clarity, this is not an advertisement for Corona beer. Really though, look at the gorgeous colors here. All of these warm, happy colors indicate this is an RNA virus that we're dealing with. Recall that we use red, warm colors to represent RNA viruses. Look, there's even a sunset to beautify the scene. Rainbows are full of positive feelings. So this positive rainbow indicates that coronavirus is a positive sense RNA virus. In later lectures on RNA viruses, you will see many negative sense viruses, which are represented by dark rain clouds. Rain clouds kind of have that negative, ominous vibe associated with them. So those represent negative sense viruses. But again, this image has a positive rainbow, so coronavirus is positive sense. Let's bring on our first character. Look at this poor guy approaching the cabin. He's so cold and shivering, he even has a thermometer in his mouth. This sick, cold man represents the common cold. A coronavirus is the most common cause of a cold, second to rhinovirus. Don't worry, this cold man is welcomed into this warm cabin. Look at this fine gentleman holding that corona beer. This corona beer not only makes him the perfect host for people of good health, but also gives him the opportunity to help this young man with a cold. Corona is there for everyone. Sick or not, corona doesn't judge. You're always welcome in this cabin. To open his corona beer, this man has a corkscrew bottle opener. Notice the helical shape to it. This helical bottle opener represents the helical capsid of coronavirus. Now look at this guy down here with this little SARS shirt. SARS must be the name of his college or something. Or maybe SARS is a competing alcohol product. In any case, this man's SARS shirt represents Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, S-A-R-S, SARS. This is exactly what it sounds like. It is severe, it comes on fast, it's acute, and it's a respiratory syndrome. Now look at this other guy down here. He's trying to scale the mountain and catch up to his SARS friend. He is exhausted and out of breath, definitely in respiratory distress. Now this distressed man is here to emphasize the distress associated with SARS. So again, distressed man for respiratory distress. Now that we've covered all the information you need to know about coronavirus and SARS, let's do a question to apply what you've learned. A 15-year-old girl presents to the physician with a mild headache and nasal congestion for two days. She states that everyone in her family has had similar symptoms recently. On physical examination, her throat appears red with visible mucus drainage. Her temperature is 37.8 Celsius, and she appears mildly uncomfortable. A rapid streptococcal antigen test is negative, and a viral PCR panel is negative for rhinovirus. Which of the following statements is true regarding the most likely causal organism? A. The pathogen carries its own DNA polymerase. B. The capsid has an icosahedral shape. C. The pathogen has a lipid bilayer surrounding its genome. Or D. The genetic material is double-stranded. Hopefully from the question stem you notice that this describes the common cold, which should immediately bring to your mind rhinovirus and coronavirus. But we know the viral PCR for rhinovirus was negative, so we don't think it's rhinovirus. And she feels sick. Also, we're not worried about strep throat here because her test was negative. Now, the sensitivity of a rapid strep test isn't perfect, but we're not really thinking about a strep throat anyways because we have a better explanation for what's causing her throat to be red. It's that visible mucus drainage. We call that post-nasal drip, and that can cause the throat to hurt. So now that we think it's coronavirus, which of the answers is most likely true? C. C is the correct answer. This is describing an envelope. The envelope is formed when the virions butt off from the host cell taking with it a piece of the cell membrane, the lipid bilayer. This is what makes the virus enveloped. Now, enveloped viruses are more common than naked viruses. For this reason, assume that every virus is enveloped unless we have a straight up naked person in an image. And there are no naked people in this image. And thank goodness, look how cold it is out there. And the reason A is wrong is because that is describing a negative sense virus. Negative sense viruses carry their own DNA polymerase. And coronavirus is a positive sense virus. Remember that positive looking rainbow? So A is wrong. Now B is wrong because coronavirus has a helical shape, not an icosahedral shape. And D is wrong because coronavirus is single-stranded. Remember that almost all RNA viruses are single-stranded. So assume the virus is single-stranded unless there is something in the image that is obviously indicating double-stranded. Now you've learned all you need to know for coronavirus. And that concludes this section.